Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Del Mar Racetrack here on Friday. It is November the 25th, 2016. Gonna look at race number six from Del Mar. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections from racetracks around the world. Today's sixth race from Del Mar. It, it, you know, this race used to be one of my favorite races from Hollywood Park. Um, it's the 34th running of the Hollywood Park uh, of the Hollywood Turf Cup. Grade 2 purse, $200,000 for three-year-olds and upwards. In years past, you used to see horses coming out of the Breeze' Cup running in this race. This year, uh, you have horses coming out of the Breeze' Cup and running in this race. Um, you know, you have the uh, Texas Riano running in the Breeze' Cup, Rowles running in the Breeze' Cup, um, Ashley Love Sugar running in the Breeze' Cup. It's just a great race. Um, so it's the 34th running of the Hollywood Turf Cup. Grade 2 purse, $200,000 for three-year-olds and upwards. Field of seven horses traveling the distance of ground of one mile and one half on the turf course at Del Mar. Mama half and the turf cup. And my top pick here will go to the three horse, number three, who is flamboyant. Gonna go three seven four five. Three seven four five. Number three, flamboyant, three to one. Mike Smith for Patrick Gallagher who trains this one. Um this uh, five year old gelding reporters is gelding on twenty fifth of of uh, April of twenty fifteen. But last time out, horse ran October the second at uh San Diego Mount Quarter in the grade two John Henry Turf uh, Cup. This horse finished eighth by three and a quarter lengths that day. You know, just had nothing that day. You know, it just was a disappointing run. Um maybe this horse needs longer, I don't know. It just wasn't his day to win. Start before Del Mar Mount 3 8, so August 20th in the Delmar Handicap, grade 2. Horse finished 8th by uh, 3 and 3 quarter lengths. Again, he lost to Texas uh, to uh, Ashley Love Sugar, who this horse lost to his last two starts. You know, just had nothing, was wide into it, and uh, it just wasn't this horse's day to win. Um, and then the start before it came to the Eddie Reed at Del Mar Mile on the 8th, July 17th. Horse finished third by three quarters on length. Closed up that day, but needed a little extra ground. I think if it was mile and a quarter, he would have won. He had a great trip. Um, you know, they did send this horse to uh, Dubai earlier this year to run in the Dubai Duty Free, or the Dubai Turf as it's known now. And he finished fifth by two and three quarter lengths. You know, that's a very tough race for an American horse to finish fifth that was pretty impressive um, you know it, you know it, it was a very nice run for this horse um, you know it'd been very cool to see this horse win but maybe next year they could take this back to, a horse back to run in this race but um, you know he, he, he did have a very good beginning of the year he won to San Gabriel at 46 to 1 and he also won to San Marcos earlier this year um, if he could run back to those races I think he should do well if he could run back to that Dubai turf race he wins this race by a mile but I'm going to take my chances with this one here three one. I have a feeling you might get 6-1 at post time on this one. Um, so to recap my bets, race number 6 from Del Mar. It's the 34th running of the Hollywood Turf Cup. Going to go with the three-horse flamboyant. Going to go 3-7, 4-5, in the Superfecta. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing. Get 5. Good luck, everybody.